have several little things I want to show you that I use to keep my sewing machine space organized. All of these are working great for me. First of all, I have a tray of my favorite notepads. Now, I've cleaned this out on several occasions, and I really just mainly stock it with my uh, post-it notes. I love the post-it notes. I got rid of most of the others, and um, I do like these notepads, but all of my other notepads are pretty much gone. I've decluttered all of those, but I do keep that right there because I use that a lot. Then I have my little leaders and enders bucket and I just keep, keep enough to fill it. I don't like it overflowing and falling out. It just makes the space untidy. So this is a little bucket that I keep right here by my sewing machine. It doesn't seem like I ever run out of those little leaders and enders. Okay, this is a little tray that I use to organize my area right here so things are contained and I know exactly where they are. There is my magnetic pen holder. Now I do take this out and I do move it around, but when it comes time to clean up and put away, I try to keep it right there. Then I do have some clips, my seam ripper, and I do have a couple of small rulers. Right here beside my sewing machine, right up against the cabinet right there, I have a little wire basket and I keep my sewing machine feet, the ones that I use most often. I don't keep all of them in here, just the most frequently used ones. I have three different colors of thread. I have the white, the off-white, and then black, and I have bobbins that coordinate with those. I also keep my walking foot in the basket because I sew a lot with my walking foot and I'm constantly taking that off and putting that on. So I do use that quite a bit. And I keep that right here. I keep my scissors right here on my machine. That is huge for me. That is one thing that I just, I just have to have. And when I'm done, I always try to remember to put them back there. Now I don't always get them back there but I do try. Okay, so another thing I keep here, or I have close to my sewing machine table, it, or my sewing machine area, is my disposable container for my sharps. And I just have used sharps on the top of this. It's just a recycled gum container, but I keep my um, ro used rotary blades in there, my bent pins, and my broken machine needles. And I keep that handy. Okay, now over here I have my pens. These are all the pens I use to mark fabric with, uh, pens I write with. I have some more post-it notes in here. I have a glue stick right there that I use a lot. But this is super handy, and I use it every time I sit down to sew. Up here is my magnetic strip, and I keep my most used items there. I have my paper scissors, my fabric scissors, and I have my two magnetic picker-uppers, my telescoping picker-uppers, and I use those a lot. And then I do keep a couple of extra needles with thread there, and I use those just in case I need to. Then up above is my UFO list, and that helps keep me on track. Now these are the things, oh yes, and the last thing I keep here are Kleenexes. This whole area right here, I just have most everything I need right here so that I can just sew, 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 sew. And of course, I have a trash can handy too. Now, please tell me in the comments below the things that you keep in your immediate sewing space. This is what I use to help keep myself organized. And the things that I have here have been working great. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, have fun quilting.